Hello, so I wanted to make a tutorial on how to use a slot and tab tool within sheet metal parts, within a part and within assembly. Because I knew this problem, it was quite an issue for me to f uh, figure out a solution to this. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on how I solved it. So, this is a sheet metal part. It's just a, a simple rectangle that's been folded over itself a few times. And if I wanted to make a slot and tab tool here, I would need to make sure that this tab is a fair distance away from the base sheet and what I want to do is make a tab and slot so it comes so tab comes in and then slots into this material so how I do that is tab and slot click one edge click the other side you can see it does its thing boom right and if I flatten it you can see there's a slot here so that's how to do a um, tab and slot within the sheet metal part and that's fairly simple but it gets harder if you try and go into an assembly. So the solution I found was to make two uh, sheet metal parts. So do you know how the normal way you would normally create a feature and extrude above that? So use that tool to extrude and then do whatever you need to do. What I found was if you create this as a sheet metal part, so let's say two mil is fine, it's fine for now. And let's save this. We'll say this is part one. Let's overwrite it. Make a new one. Actually, we can save this as part three. Save as as well. Part three. Yes. Exit this. Um, we'll do a new assembly. And we'll get these two parts. So these are the two sheet metal parts that we put in. So. Now, you, if you were to, if you wanted like a thicker part, or you wanted to use the, the extrude feature, just use the sheet metal part, but then increase the size. So what this allows you to do is, if I create some mates here and try and constrain this, Now let's say I want to make this have a slot and I want this to have a t um, no I want this to have a slot and this to have a tab. I would have to edit this part. Oh, I've saved the assembly first. So then I'll click the tab and slot tool, click an edge, so the inside. And if you notice in the sign corner, so let me get, let me try that again. So you notice here there's one, two, three, four, five. When I click this, it goes down to four. Now, if there's five options there, it's I don't know how to get rid of that error, but there's no way you can make a slot and tab that way. But if there's four, then it's much easier. So if I click that, can you see how it's made a, a yellow highlight of what's about to happen? And then there you can see there. And so if you want this uh, face to be much thicker or you want this to have more features coming out of it you can always just create a sketch you can always just create a sketch above that and then start using the uh, extrude base tool so as long as the the base feature that you're using is a sheet metal base flange then it's fine and that allows you to get to, to use this type of slotting here which is saving a lot of time so yeah, I just thought I should cover those two topics, those two ways of using a slot and tab tool. Um, it saves a lot of time in, in different ways. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.